average, and you can just review that AVG. And of course, you remember what that is. An average of like a set of values is just those values added together. Let's take three values, A plus B plus C. And then we divide that by the number of values we have. So we have three values. We divide that by three. And what that does is gives us a snapshot of that group of numbers. And so that average, that might not be equal to any one of those individual numbers, but it gives us a really convenient number to work with uh, that describes the whole group of numbers, you know, in one handy number. So, I mean, obviously you've had this before. Can you tell me what's the biggest potential weakness uh, in uh, in dealing with averages? The potential weaknesses? Yeah, it's a weakness that it, it doesn't happen every time. Sometimes it's not a problem, but it's it could be a serious problem with telling us how useful that number really is, the average. How well it describes the group. Um, I'm not too sure. Okay. Since an average takes all the individual values and gives us just one number to describe the group, if uh, if one of the values in that group of numbers was way low or way high, it would distort the value of the average way um, out of proportion. An outlier kind of thing? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yes, an outlier. So, like, you know, like here in Austin, Michael Dell, he has a little computer company. Maybe you've heard of it? Yeah. Um, so out at the lake, um, there are a bunch of houses that are like one or two million dollars. And then he has his. He had to get into a lawsuit with the uh, with the city as to what value they placed on the house for his property taxes because they appraised it at like $45 million. And he said, no, 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 it's much less than that. So if you take the average value of all the houses at the lake, it's like $20 million. But that average, it turns out, doesn't accurately describe any of the houses on the lake. His is twice as much, and theirs is 5% or 10% of that number. So that's the potential problem with an average, is that one single outlier can distort the whole picture. Okay. Um, and average means exactly the same thing as saying the mean. Okay. Mean just means average. Both words are exactly the same. Another one that we use then is median. I mean, you always hear people say median home prices or median household income. Mm -hmm. Okay. From our Latin, medi meaning half. The median, you can't calculate it. You can only, like, observe it. And the median is just if you have a group of numbers all lined up from least to greatest, the median would be the value that's exactly at the middle of that group. And 50% of the values, I'm using a mouse and I'm using my wrong hand, so give me a little bit of leeway. Half, half the values fall below that number, and half the values fall above that number. Okay. Now, that, in a lot of cases, is more descriptive. Because if we go back to the lake house you know, question, where... All the houses, except for Dell's, are one or two million dollar houses, and his is 45 million. Well, if we look at the median value, half of the houses are more expensive, half the houses are less expensive. It turns out the median is going to be two million. 
And that is a good description of a typical, if you want to call it that, um, home value at the lake. Yes, at the low end, it discards the houses at $1 million. And at the high end, it discards the $45 million house. But it pretty accurately describes the bulk of the houses at about $2 million. Okay. And so that's what they mean when they talk about household income, median household income. That just means half the people are above that and half the people are below that. Now, you want to know a neat trick? Yeah. If the numbers are evenly spaced, so 5, 10, 15, 20, etc., then the median and the average will be the same thing. Oh, okay. If the numbers are well behaved, hmm. okay. usually doesn't happen in nature, but if they are evenly spaced, then the median and the average will be the same thing, which is good to know because you can't calculate a median. You can only sort of line up your val your variables in a lineup, and uh, and and observe, you know, what is the the median value. Uh, so if you know they've got to be equal and you can calculate the average, then you know just automatically that that average is the same thing as the median value. Mm -hmm. 